Howdy, gang, and welcome once again to the Duct Tape Studios. I'm Jeff McAleer, your host here at the Gaming Gang channel. Thanks for joining me once again. Today, I am going to unbox and take a first look at Blade Runner, the role-playing game, Case File 2, Fiery Angels, from Free League Publishing. This is written by Tomas Hanenstam with Joe Lafavi. Artwork is provided by Martin Grip, David Brasgala, Ilko Sebring, and Gustav Eckelman. This box set arrives in stores on April 5th. It's going to carry an MSRP of $39.99. The PDF is not available yet, but I am going to guess it'll probably be available over at Drive-Thru RPG for a price point of around $19.99. All that said, let's swing on over to the other camera because here I've got Fiery Angels for Blade Runner, the role-playing game. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the shrink wrap. And I know this is an eagerly anticipated adventure because I really liked Blade Runner, the role-playing game, the core book, and then the starter set that had the adventure with that. Just phenomenal. Really, really well done. And I would think we can expect more of the same with Fiery Angels. So let's take a peek at the back here. Fiery, the angels rose, and as they rose, deep thunder rolled around their shores, indignant, burning with the fires of Orc. William Blake. Following the same deluxe format and packaging as the award-winning Case File 1, Electric Dreams, Included in the Blade Runner role-playing game starter set, Case File 2, Fiery Angels, features a new thrilling investigative scenario and a host of in-world handouts, photos, maps, and more. This new investigation starts off with the Blade Runners assigned to question a suspect arrested while trying to infiltrate the Wallace Corporation memory vaults. Case leads the team down a perilous path that explores the boundaries of replicant technology and its consequences. The player characters will need to contend with an array of physical, mental, and moral challenges. That talks about what the box has inside, which I'm not going to read because we're going to take a peek ourselves. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got some cards, which are going to have our NPCs. Got a game catalog. We've got our adventure book. We've got a folder for the players to keep their clues, which already has a bunch of stuff inside. It's like we've got some maps as well. So we'll take a look at all of this after we take a peek inside the adventure. Now, a few things I do want to mention. The fine folks over at Free League Publishing were kind enough to provide me with this review copy. But neither I nor anyone else affiliated with the gaming gang has received any other sort of compensation for me to share this coverage with you. These days, it's important you know that. We're also not going to look at each and every page, every single handout in this box set, but I do want to give you a really good feel for what you're going to find inside. And then lastly, this is an adventure. So if you are a player and your game master is looking to pick this up or maybe They've already ordered Fiery Angels. I definitely recommend Tune Out Now. Even though you just saw me take the shrink wrap off, and I know very little about this adventure, we're probably going to see some spoilers as I page through. So you have been warned. Now, of course, if your game master is considering picking up Fiery Angels, let them know about this video so they can approach it with a lot more information than they may have just from the cell sheets. All right, so let's take a peek inside. We've got our credits. So share credit where credit is due for everyone. We've got our prelude. This adventure is designed for one to four players. The players can create their own characters using the Blade Runner role-playing game core rules or use the pre-generated player characters found in the starter set. If you've played Electric Dreams and the characters survived, we recommend that you use the same characters in Fiery Angels to continue their story. 
If you're not overly familiar with Blade Runner, the role-playing game, it is scene-based. So you're going to go from scene to scene. And one of the aspects I thought was really cool about Electric Dreams is we did have some images as far as being able to zoom in and zoom out and things like that. I thought that was pretty cool. So we have our briefing which is going to be our Deputy Chief Holden giving us the briefing on this scenario. So we've got some fallout from Electric Dream. So if case file number one has been played by the same group, you can utilize this. One to take stress. Blade Runner, the role-playing game, does utilize the stress mechanic that Free League Publishing uses with some of their year zero engine systems, which essentially makes it easier for you to succeed at tasks when you're under stress, but also increases the likelihood of you screwing up because <laughs> you're under stress. So it looks like we're getting some background on the different NPCs. And then we've got our locations. So even though this is scene-based, you will actually follow a procedure as far as figuring out clues and interrogating suspects and talking to witnesses and things along those lines. So this is not just a railroad. So it is very possible that your players could miss some of the clues and some of the scenes that would be taking place in the adventure and still be able to come up with a solution. So we've got the Yukon Hotel. So there's an image there. Looks like it's a murder scene. It looks like, looks like a body there. And I would take a guess, we probably have the ability to change angles and things like that. Bright Eyes Beauty Salon. Artwork throughout is pretty cool. Pretty good. Now, as far as a review, I will have my review of Fiery Angels when this drops in stores because I do believe that there is currently a review embargo. Free League Publishing has been doing that as of late. So I do want to make sure that I do not violate the embargo, but I want to make sure that you get a review as quickly as possible. So. Here looks like we've just got some locations to wrap up. And all in all, what do we clock in at? 60 pages? Yes. So 60 pages for the adventure. Here we've got mug shots and NPC cards. You get to be able to share with the players. Here's Holden right there. Give you a look at some of these. I honestly think that a few of these might have been the pre-generated characters from Case File 1. So it looked like we had about 14 of those. Here we've got all our clues. And this was what I thought was really the standout in Electric Dreams because these were so well done. Let's see, there's a few more in here too. So it looks like we get just a, a logo for the Wallace Corporation. A breakdown of Ellis Vale. That might be who the Blade Runners are trying to track down. So here's some of those images. And what I thought was really cool here is that they feel like photographs. <laughs> I thought that was pretty wild when we saw those in Electric Dreams. So there we have that. We've got some newspaper entries. Looks like we've got a couple of copies here. 
the Independent Sentinel. So this is a handout G and handout B. So there's going to be some differences to these, I guess, because they look exactly the same, but I wouldn't be surprised if the articles are actually different. So that's kind of cool. And then we also have the different maps. So this is the Yukon Hotel Room. Single-sided on this. Another location. Then we got the beauty salon. An apartment. Quell's office. The executive suite for Wallace Corporation. The seawall shanty town. So this is a different scale there. And got to say, these are paper, but they are traded. So nice, thick paper as well. So these will hold up really, really nicely. So we've got the various different maps. We have all the different clues and photographs. Of course, the two newspaper entries. Come on, get in there. It's got a stick in there. So we've got those. We've got the mugshot cards. And then we have the 60-page adventure. And that's what we find when we take everything from Blade Runner, the role-playing game, Case File 2, Fiery Angels, outside the box. Of course, as I mentioned, I will have a review of this in the very near future. All right, that is it for this time out. If you like this video, by all means, give it a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget, ring that bell. It'll not only let you know when I share videos such as this first look, it'll also inform you when my live stream, The Gaming Gang Dispatch, airs Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings right here on YouTube at 7 p.m. Central. And of course, when you're not watching videos on The Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all latest in tabletop gaming news, reviews, and a whole lot more you are not going to find here on the channel. You know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. Once again, I'm Jeff McLear. Thank you very much for watching. And until I see you next time, I certainly hope all of you get to enjoy plenty of great gaming with your gang.